Okay, how do we hold a fly rod? Good question. There are a number of ways. You can put your finger over the top like that. I don't like that. They used to use it for accuracy. I don't like it. Okay. You can grip it like that, like a fist. That's no good either. That just strangles the action of the rod and puts some pleasing curves throughout it. You'll get squiggles in your fly line. A good way is somewhere in the middle. Okay. You just put your fingers over like this and let your bottom fingers just wrap around like this. This top finger is laying on the top, but it's gently to the side, okay? Just like this. I find that the best way to hold a fly rod. Holding the rod gently like this means the rod can breathe. We can actually feel it bending and unbending, loading and unloading. If we grip it like this, there's unpleasing shock waves in it, okay? Hold it lightly, just put the rod in your palm like that and gently close the fingers around the cork and that's it. When you make the cast now, you'll notice that you've got power and grace. After the rod has stopped in this position, I lift my thumb. That's called dampening. That dampening effect makes the line in the air more controllable and smooth and takes out all the slack in the cast. Holding the rod gently like this means that when we make a cast, it is smooth and graceful. 